You wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> but this Sola came back. Ah, guys, my cat came back. She's that's her song of freedom, her song of victory. Maybe I might have just kidnapped her. Shh. See me. Welcome back. Happy New Year, you bastards. Look at you, you made it. How old are you turning this year? Scary. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is funny anymore, really. I have been abusing this wig. This wig is multi purpose. It's giving Kelly Rowland the tours. It's also giving Whitney Houston. It's also giving your local pasta. Yeah? This, tell me this is not Katekuna. <laughs> it's also giving Kaleche Muma in her prime. I mean, it's versatile and that's why I love it. Welcome, this is the new citizen. My name is Lillian Muli. Ah, you would have believed it, didn't you? <laughs> or maybe not because I'm a bit more pretty. But anyway. As you know, new year, new liars and new lies. <gasps> you look to the left, a liar. You look to the right, a liar. Protect yourself, sanitize in this pandemic. I know you must be asking yourself, why are they all men? <laughs> you already knew. Look, you knew it. they're all men. To this video, this is the funniest lies that men have told women. Part, I think this is part 65, but um, let's get it in anyway. <laughs> You know, this is some green tea, some hot water. Guys, I'm just, there's nothing better than tea. Like, every day, every day I wake up and I'm having a bad day. And I just take a cup of hot tea. It doesn't matter. If inside there there's, there's, there's buckwood or mahogany inside that tea bag, it really does it for me. I don't know. I saw an old picture of him at his son's birthday party on Facebook. So I asked him if he had kids just to make a conversation. He says no. I said, is that so? Then I sent him a picture like, whose son is this? And he says, oh yeah, that's my son. <laughs> you're a liar. Oh my God. And you're denying family members for a little bit of a... Coochie coochie there. Mm -mm. <laughs> the minute she sent that picture and said, Is this your son? He said, Damn, I can't lie. Wait, wait, Wongo, watch your Wongo. Runners up. My ex came over to my house once covered in hickeys and I asked where he got them from. He stared in the bathroom mirror with a fake, confused face and said, Must have been a ghost. <laughs> practicing witchcraft <laughs> if you can look in the mirror and say it must have been a ghost and you know you know what you are doing you you're a witch you are a witch point blank period and you're still here waiting to go to heaven with the rest of these people how 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 this guy looked at dead in the face and said must have been a ghost even you know even when you are lying guys i don't i don't know when you are lying sometimes you try am i i don't know you say, um, let me put effort in this lie. There should be award-winning lies. But your lies don't have any effort. You would have even said, you said you are attacked. A stranger things effect. <laughs> if I was the man and he said this like straight up, I'll just tell him, imagine just leave. Imagine just leave. You're not, you're unserious. You're not a serious human being. Do you have an ID? How old are you? <laughs> it must have been a ghost. <laughs> Imagine guys, this is happening in real time, in real time, in real sense, in this day and age. Somebody faces you and says it must have been a ghost and they've cheated on you. Slap that person. Slap them and tell them I told you to slap them. My ex of two years told me after I found a picture of him kissing another girl that the reason he kissed her was because she was moving out of the state and wanted a goodbye kiss. <laughs> You guys are gullible. I, you guys are gullible and naive. And we, we will drill this common sense into your body and veins. Hey! I said, Jesus, what a life. <laughs> so, 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 babe, babe, babe. Out of all the people who do charity, it's just your guy giving out goodbye kisses to people who are moving out. Really? Do you know, do you know, do you know there's, there's something called oral hops? <laughs> The wildest lie this guy ever told me was I found him sending pictures to underage girls, like explicit photos. And he said, a hacker logged into his Twitter account and DM'd a bunch of minors, his mm -hmm, genitalia, and is now asking him for 3,000 as ransom to delete the evidence. 
Even Jad Judy would be mad. <laughs> this point if you want to lie like just 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 ask yourself will will somebody else believe this you know <laughs> when um when offset cheated on Kadi and he said that his twitter account was hacked and he started writing weird things like my mom i hope my mom dies one woman and you want know any effort who like especially i need you to ask yourself who you are first before people want to hack you okay have the data, have the statistics and the analytics and know who you are. So a random guy who don't know you sent pictures of your mjules to underage girls. You know what I do? I just, I call the police. You know, I actually help you look for the hacker. In that moment, I will be so naive and be like, yeah, oh my God, we need to find the hacker. I send you to the police station very fast with immediate effect without bail. Lock him up. Well, let's go on. Mambo ni mengi masadio bachache. Things are hot. I went through his phone and saw he was texting his friend about having sex with someone else. Um, I confronted him and he said that it was all a dream. It was all a dream. I never knew. <laughs> B.I.G. is, whatever he is, is shaking in his grave. It was all a dream. I never. <laughs> anyway, it was all a dream. And it wasn't real and he was just telling his friend about the dream he had. Guys, you know, and this is what makes me, if you don't want to be with someone, why overdo? Why overdo and lie when you can leave? Why overdo and lie when you can leave? Now look at people who are dreaming. What is your doing, Abana? What is your doing, Abana? Let's continue. You thought the video is over. How? When men are liars. Come on. We were married, and this one time we went to a theater production where he would exchange glances with another man. Okay, all right, that's okay, it's, it's all right, it's all right. I'm a bit sweaty though. One day he went to work only to be caught by a police car. No, by a police car under a bridge having oral sex with another man. At first he denied it until I asked, are you gay? <laughs> Why are you gay? But okay, first of all, I'm not gonna shame anyone for their sexuality, but um, married, like you know you're married, babes. You know what? I only laugh because I'm not in that situation. If it was me, I don't know. I honestly don't know, guys. Imagine finding out your husband is, is down low. Oh my god, must be painful and stuff. Because who's doing the bending? <laughs> as long as he's not doing the bending, then... <laughs> Sola, sorry! She's sleeping here. <laughs> That's how he moves his, his mouth when he sees the other man. I'm guys. Overdone, sorry. He asked me one day, what if I told you someone else was pregnant? Are you, and then I asked, are you serious? He said, no, haha, <laughs> it's a joke. Just seeing how mad you'll get, you know? Death threats from the baby mama comments two months later. It's not a joke. It is an idea to see. Can you take it, can you not? Can you take it, can you not? Can you take it, can you not? Can you take it, can you do it? Can you take it? Can you do it? And you should have not like downplayed the question. Like if someone asked me, like if someone, if a guy asked me, what did you do if someone else was pregnant? Th th that's not a joke. Where's the joke there? Examine the joke. Tell me where you laugh. Thank you. There's nothing funny there. Not funny, haha. -ha, funny, weird. So he was basically telling you, hey, Nikoboto, bro. <laughs> so when two months come down the line and my baby mama starts, you know, I said it. And let me tell you, if there's anything in this life, I refuse to be. It's a baby mama. I refuse. And if I'm ever, and God forbid, that's the God forbid, that's the path I find myself. I'll never be vicious to any woman. None. Actually, it's just been me and my babes about me and my babies and my children against the world. Not even against me. Against the world. Cause, cause, why would you be a mama and baby a baby mama and send death threats? Are you, are you stupid? Is, are you normal? If there's another woman, it's not the other woman. Imagine, imagine it's not. Let's see, maybe Dora. Ah. Who could the problem be? It's your man. It's your man. He told me he couldn't hang out with me because he was babysitting babysitting his nieces and nephews, and his sister was running late to pick them up. The gag is, there's always a gag. <laughs> so this like mentally, surprise, surprise, in case you are sleeping, wake up. The gag is, he was babysitting his own kids. And I've come to see something. Men are, are too comfortable denying their babies. I don't know about that. We need to look into it. Someone needs to do a TED talk somewhere, somehow, about people going for the milk and not coming back. Because uh, all, all these people are, dying, are, are denying that, they're denying their babies. For a one night stand, for a hot makeout session, denying their DNA. 
Hey. She says, I knew he was a catfish. Basically, like he wasn't real because he was a liar. But when I was bored, I would just play along. So I get a text from his bro saying he'd been hit by a semi-truck and was in a coma. The next day he texted me. <laughs> You're not in the coma? Okay. And I, I was like, I thought you were in a coma. Me too, sis. And he was like, he got, lift, he got hit on the left side, but I'm right-handed, so I'm okay. You, you just stay in the coma. You? <laughs> but I don't see the problem. He texted you with the right hand. <laughs> this other one is not in the coma. <laughs> we're not with the effort. He wanted to meet up. I told him no because I heard he got some girl pregnant. He said he did, but she miscarried the baby and died. I left him. I let him take me to sushi afterwards. As we were eating, his phone lit up, and his home screen picture was his newborn baby. Wait, wait, you didn't try. You didn't try and hide the profile picture or something. Oh, it was your lock screen. You didn't try and because you're going on a date with a lady. Maybe, maybe she would have seen or something. I don't know. <laughs> you guys don't even care, do you? <laughs> Alisama, this is my baby. <laughs> you know, and one thing about me, I would have literally looked at you dead in the face and be like, oh, what a cute newborn baby you have there. And from there, we are acquaintances. From that moment, acquaintance. Oh, stop, stop being scared of these people. Stop being, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Ask them the hard, difficult questions. Ask them the hard, difficult questions. Ask them the hard, difficult questions and see your life change. And ask yourself, ask yourself, will I be surrounded by liars if I don't take the lies? Mm. Point. Point. Moto kama pasi. Let's continue. You thought it was over? Twenty day. I found an obvious hickey on his neck and chest, and he said there were burn marks from <laughs> from falling while trying to walk on hot coals. So he said these hickeys, this this. Ah, uh, I was walking on hot coal. I was trying to walk on a uh, hot coal and every time so you only fell on your neck and your chest but your arms not really your legs not the vibe <laughs> as they didn't burn your legs and arms <laughs> here with open arms they didn't they didn't burn your arms your legs just your neck and your chest I believe you I believe you I'm not even mad that's right baby you are burnt come I, come and sue them Things are tough, things are real, and things are happening. I caught my ex in a room with another girl, and he told me my eyes were... <laughs> Look. Nobody's believing your lies. Come again. So, I caught my ex in a room with another girl, and he told me my eyes were deceiving me. He looked me in the face and said, Who are you going to believe? Me or your imagination? Imagine you're going to hell. You're going to hell! He just went straight into gaslighting. Ebi too. I talk of Fikiria. He said, are you going to believe me or your imagination? Sasa mutu wana gaslight. Something you are seeing. Something that's happening in real time. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Who are you going to believe, babe? Me or your imagination? <laughs> I'm a shakuta delusional. He's already called you delusional. He's already told you you're imagining things that are happening in real time. Some, tell me that guy will not gaslight you out of your life. You'll just be gaslit. Wewe kazi yako tunikuwa delusional. And, you, and that's how you finish your life, delusional. Just become, just become, you, you can even become schizophrenic. You just imagine things are there and they're not there because you've been gaslit like this. <laughs> Mambo moto. So he said that he was going on a men's church retreat. <laughs> Praise God. And would be gone all weekend. My bestie at the time's husband was also going, so her and I got together that Saturday. Her husband FaceTimed her and casually asked why my husband cancelled. So he's on Kesha, but not with the Lord. <laughs> and he's not doing you. Not the Lord's work. Oh, but this is kind of cute if I style this nicely, guys. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think he was connected to that Lord. I don't think he was connected to the spirit. There's somewhere else he was connected. <laughs> the Bluetooth. 
and I've always wanted to do a study, yeah, on how how honor men, you know, <laughs> how honor men, please, how honor men that they must lie. Imagine denying children, lying. Glory, glory. This one, this one was supposed to go for men's church retreat. He has gone for retreat. He told me he was he was adopting a baby because I didn't want to have a baby with him. Like I, she kept refusing. I obviously didn't believe him, but he was very serious. Only to find out he's been married. It's always the married ones, isn't it? Yeah. Find out he's been married for almost three years, and his wife was about to give birth that week. So 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 so. In case you saw the baby, this is the adopted baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> Baby, relax, baby. This is our baby. <laughs> how do you how do you manage all these systems, man? I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. So you're going to gaslight you into receiving a son as an adoptee. At this point, the dual fathers really care. <laughs> I don't know. You know. <laughs> Motto. Four weeks, he had me driving around this girl who was six months pregnant and saying it was his sister. Turns out it was his very pregnant baby mama. Then he had the audacity after I broke it off with him to still ask me to take her to her appointments. Oh, darling. Oh. <laughs> you think the pits can get worse. They just take you to hell. Now, now. <laughs> so much to unpack. This baby mama is sitting at the back knowing he's lying just so that they can go for appointments. So they're using you as fair. Really? As fair. You, you are delivering people. <laughs> I can see you doing the county's work, the county government's work. Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> new year, new lies, I've told you. Audacity, the audacity to steal after I found out you're lying to me, to still drive. Are you crazy? Can, can you get out of your baby mama? He said that him cheating was an April Fool's prank. It was January. You are the fool. <laughs> you are the fool and you will be played. Arrest my case and finally don't be lied to be smart sharp funny to darlings out there look at the statistics the data and the analytics you know the analytics look into them and the facts <laughs> unless you'll be driving around baby mamas as they go for their appointment hey mambo ni moto masendio bachache <laughs> <laughs>